to new developments now in the shooting of a federal judge's family. Her husband shot, their son killed, and the murder investigation now spans from New Jersey to Sullivan County all the way to California, too. This afternoon, the man wanted in the case was found shot to death in Sullivan County, New York. And now they're looking into whether he's also linked to a deadly shooting near Los Angeles. We have team coverage for you this afternoon. We want to get to News Force Chris Glorioso live in North Brunswick with new information. Chris, what can you tell us? Well, law enforcement sources now telling NBC4 they believe the man who killed himself in upstate New York is the same man who came here to North Brunswick and opened fire on Judge Esther Salas's family. They have identified him as Roy Den Hollander, a man with extensive anti feminist legal activity, even suing nightclubs over ladies' night. They say around 5 o'clock yesterday, he came to this doorstep. Judge Salas was in the basement. And so they say he opened fire on her husband. The Sunday evening attack left 20 year old Daniel Anderl dead from a gunshot wound to the heart. His father, defense attorney Mark Anderl, barely surviving multiple gunshot wounds of his own. Shortly after the brazen doorstep attack, investigators developed information the shooter might have been a phony delivery man who opened fire just as Judge Esther Salas's husband answered the doorbell. Neighbor Marion Costanza believes when the judge's son heard his father was wounded, he must have run to try and save him. Last I heard, it was Mark that opened the door. Daniel, the kid, ran downstairs after hearing the shot. And Daniel would do that. How many people go into shots? If By Monday afternoon, investigators began looking into the possible connection between the apparent suicide of an attorney in upstate Sullivan County, New York, and the shooting of Judge Salas's family in New Jersey. The upstate body was that of Roy Den Hollander, a lawyer who had long espoused anti feminist legal thinking. Law enforcement sources say next to his body was a package with research on Judge Salas. Well, it's gut wrenching. It's not only for me, but for the whole town, it's gut wrenching. For such a fine young man, it's just unthinkable. Judge Esther Salas, nominated by President Obama, is the first Hispanic woman to serve on the federal bench in New Jersey. She presided over the fraud case against Real Housewives of New Jersey star Teresa Giudice, and just last week she was assigned to a class action case against Deutsche Bank, in which investors say the bank failed to flag questionable transactions, including those made by wealthy sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Daniel Ender was Salas's only child. Before he was gunned down, he had been attending Catholic University in Washington, D.C., intending to become a lawyer, just like his parents. He was a good kid, but how this mother is going to get through this, I don't know. Only God knows. Investigators recovered a gun from the upstate suicide scene. They're working to try and match that to the scene here at Judge Salas's house. And we should also point out that they are now looking into the possibility that Roy Den Hollander could have been behind the shooting of another attorney in California. For now, reporting live in North Brunswick, Chris Glorioso, News 4 New York. With every tragic detail, it seems like there's more and more questions. Chris, thank you so much for your reporting. The suspect was found dead more than 140 miles away from the judge's home in Middlesex County. His body found in the Catskills in the Sullivan County town of Rockland. News Force Adam Cooperstein is there live now this afternoon with new information about the suspect. And Adam, also the investigation spanning both the West and East Coasts now. Yeah, and Stefan, I'm in Liberty now because you can see behind me, state troopers are actually blocking the entrance to this police station where law enforcement sources tell us they're searching that suspect's car. And now we've learned this man has that long history of rage against women, including specific writings attacking Judge Salas by name. Here's a look from Chopper 4. This is over the scene this afternoon of that rural area in Sullivan County where authorities say they discovered the body of Roy Den Hollander more than two hours away from the crime scene in North Brunswick, New Jersey. Now, Hollander is a Manhattan lawyer, also known to be a men's rights attorney. In his book, he directs vulgar hate speech at Judge Salas, calling her lazy and incompetent. And law enforcement sources believe he is responsible for killing the federal judge's son and critically injuring her husband last night. They say the gun found at the scene here in upstate New York is similar to the gun used yesterday based on ballistics. Now, two senior law enforcement officials tell News 4 the FBI is also now looking into a possible connection to that killing you mentioned of an attorney in California last week. Mark Angelucci was apparently another men's rights attorney 
also the VP of the National Coalition for Men. And another connection between Hollander and Judge Salas, law enforcement sources telling us they found near where the body was discovered here in Sullivan County, uh, some sort of research connected to Judge Salas and her family. Reporting live from Liberty, New York, Adam Cooperstein, News 4 New York.